All right, so we're redoing some things, okay? We have we have the steel bars going across these and we have figured out that that is not going to be good enough. In the winter it gets too cold, they're too small, they don't wrap their feet around them like parrots, they want to sit flat. So I am redoing this side right now and as you can see I've got two by fours in place of the steel bars but what I've also done is let's see if we can doing something a little different here so these are gonna fold up that way That way we can get underneath it clean really good. So I'm working on this one right now. We're going to get that one folded up here. So we'll go to town from there. So we got this side done, they all swing up and work. We had a little more bedding down here. We're getting ready to put in this temporary wall across here because we've got 35 more chickens in the brooders that need to come out here, but they still need to be separated from the adults or the older chickens for a couple weeks so they can kind of get used to each other so they can see I'll have chicken wire on here so they can see each other, but they won't be able to get at each other. And we'll see how that works. Um, so we're going to put this temporary wall up. Okay, uh, so been working away the last couple days. Um, as you guys saw, we uh, we redid the the roosting bars, um, took out the metal bars because they got too cold and they were small and round, and they need something a little more flat to sit on. So I replaced them all with two by fours. I also made them, as you guys noticed, I made them to where everything flips up so we can clean out from underneath there. No, that is not my idea. I saw somebody else on uh, Instagram, I think it was, that, that had done that in their coop and it's like, you know what, we need to do that. So um, I got that done. Um, we put up our temporary wall and again. This is only temporary. I could take these down in two panels and cart them out the door. Um, got our makeshift door on here. Uh, finished all the trim and the chicken wire. And all that is for is for our, we have, uh, what do we have? We have, oh shoot, 20, 30, we have 35 chickens in the brooder room and eventually we got to bring them out here and they'll be inside this temporary enclosure um, so the adults can see them, interact with them, but not get at them. And uh, 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 we'll, so we'll get that, uh, let them 
get associated with each other for a couple weeks and then we'll open up the doors and see how everything goes. Um, so really, uh, the only other thing, let me grab this. Sorry about that, I know I'm spinning you around quickly. Um, so the only other thing that we're that I gotta do, which I mean they're not even laying eggs yet, but um, that area right there, I'm gonna make double stack nesting boxes with the buckets that I have, and uh, then I'll basically be done in here. So. Once I get those boxes in there, um, or buckets, then uh, we'll move on to the next project. I think we are done in here. Um, I gotta buy a few more buckets, four to be exact, two, two pink, two white. And uh, we'll see how this works. Um, I know chickens can get, get into a lot of places, so I'm hoping that they'll be able to manage to figure out whichever one's their favorite that they'll be able to get into it. And we'll see how this works. Um, 15 buckets, that's... Uh, that's enough for like 70 chickens. Is that right? 15 times 4, 60. 60 chickens. So, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, know, I know a lot of them, I know a lot of chickens, they'll, they'll wait in line for their favorite, their favorite nesting box. So, we'll see how this works. I mean, right now we only have 39, and we only have three that are even close to laying eggs, so we're, we're good for a while. And we'll see how this works. So I'll try to get some more buckets tomorrow, get the buckets on, and then uh, move on to the next project for now. I think I'll probably be inside because uh, it's supposed to be really windy tomorrow. It's already windy now and cold. So, I'll probably be working inside. Maybe we'll tear down a wall and see how, uh, how that kitchen bar is going to be. So, or the pantry. Maybe we'll do the pantry first. So, we'll see how that works.